So hello, welcome to Python for Everybody. I'm Charles Severance, your instructor. Uh, and I, on, in this assignment, I mean, in this video, I want to uh, work through uh, exercise 2.2. And it's just a basic uh, hello, kind of hello world. Um, and so I'm going to show you how I want you to do these things. And I've got this folder called Python for Everybody. Um, and I'm gonna use the Atom text editor. So um, the whole thing is it's supposed to say, hello, enter your name. Oh, there's the last one we did. Okay, so I'm gonna make in Python for everybody, I'm gonna make a new folder. New folder, and I'm gonna say um, ex0202. Make myself an exercise. And I'm going to create a new file. And I'm going to say, I'm going to say print hello. And I'm going to say file, save as. And it's important to get these in the right folder. And so I'm going to call this um, exo2.py. Always end these in Python because then you get the syntax highlighting. Okay, so now, again, you're not going to like this, but I want you to learn to execute these things using the tool, the real tools that we're going to really use. Because when you're applying this, I want you to know how to actually do real work. So I need to get to the point where this terminal program, and I could say start run terminal. That's another way to get the terminal program started, but I've got her down here in my doc, so that saves me some time. And of course, if you're on Windows, this is the command prompt. And so in Windows you'd type CD, but in Mac I type PWD, and that shows where I am at in the directory structure. And I can go into my desktop. This would work the same. And I can do an LS. In Windows I would say dir. Uh, and I see that I see this desktop folder. And I'm going to go into PY4E. And if I keep doing PWD, you see I'm navigating deeper and deeper into this uh, directory structure. And then I do an LS here. And I'm going to CD one more time and if to a folder. Oh, I did that really quick and didn't tell you what I was doing. CD EX tab. So that's because if the name, name of the file or folder is unique, you can hit the tab in the command line. And away we go. And so now we're in this folder in the users folder, pi for e, desktop, py for e, ex0202. And then if I say ls, and that's what you want to get to. You want to get to where you know where you're at in the folder structure and you know the file that you're going to run. And I've saved this. And so if I say python3 ex02.py, it runs. And now I know that what I'm doing in this screen can be run in this screen. And oh, I did that again. I hit the up arrow and I can run it again. So you'll find that the way you write these programs is you write them here and then write them here and run them here. And again, there are shortcuts and, and, and those are crutches and you might like them, but I just want you to learn how to use your computer like a real person uses the computer because that's when we start dealing with databases and files and you're going to want to know where you're at on your computer. And so if there's some fancy clicky button thing that says automatically run Python, that's convenient, but I want you to know all this stuff. Okay, enough about how, well, probably I'll just keep talking about that all the time. So now that we've got our problem, write a program that uses input to prompt for their username and welcomes them. So this is pretty simple. Go back to Adam. Come on, Adam. Okay, so we have to have a variable, nzt. We're, well, later we'll talk about choosing variable names. Uh, right now I'm gonna choose a crazy variable name. Input is a function, and then you put a prompt. And I'm so, that's supposed to be enter your name, colon. I don't wanna put a space in there. So I'm going to save that and just run it for yucks. And there you go. That's one thing you'll get used to is just type in gibberish really quick. And then we're going to say print. What do we got to say here? Print hello. And 
and go pull that variable back out. Save that command S is how I'm saving that save command S. I saved it. So I didn't make file save, but I could have said file save, but command S saves it. And now I can run it again. Zap. Hello, zap. So now I can run my thing. Oh, and command K clears it. I don't remember what it is on Windows, but there, I, there's a way to clear your screen. I like to keep my screens clean. Hello, Chuck. And so we have completed exercise 2.2 with a little program. Oh, and by the way, I'm using Alt Tab. That's what I'm, when you see this, I'm using the Alt Command Tab. And the same thing works on Windows as Alt Tab. Okay. Okay, so I hope that was helpful to you just to kind of walk through one of the assignments, assignment 2.2 in Python for Everybody.